Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 15th to the 21st of August 2022. No particular subject, we'll take an issue with something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, you name it, you can watch it. Uh, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your seventh house, this could be for you. Cross watchers, you are more than welcome. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support. Like, share, subscribe, comments. It's the easiest way to support the channel. It does wonders for the growth. It's very much appreciated. So thank you very much. And the description box is all the information you need. Links to Vimeo and Patreon for the extended um, website link for private reads and Instagram link for photos of the spread. So, Libra. What's going on? Page of Cups. Okay, somebody's in their fields. Let's see, three more. Okay, the Ten of Swords. There's an ending of some kind. Grief. Okay, I'm hearing metaphorical ending. What's going on here? Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. And potential outcome. Okay, we have the Hanged Man, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles, 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 Pentacles. Okay, I, I, I think I know what the metaphorical, uh, so the, there's, a me, there's a metaphorical, there's a metaphorical death here uh, in regards to something. And I kind of feel like there's a metaphorical, when I say you've made a decision about something that you haven't put into practice yet. I think that's what the, I think we're, we're at the uh, limbo stage here with the hanged man. Uh, you're seeing things very, very different now. I kind of feel like you're looking at somebody very, very different. Um, possibly a friend that now is a four. I said this to... Was it Taurus the other day? I'd, I'd never noticed before. It's difficult to, with this because it's going to reflect the other way. But it just looks like there's an F, an O, and an E. Um, the way I look at it, it's going to look different to you. Um, so it could be like a friend that's really a four. Uh, it doesn't have to be. This could be a, a, a job situation. I kind of, it, it feels very much like it's material based, is this? So this could be making a decision to leave a employment but you've not done it yet you've you've metaphorically ended in your in your head um it, it could be a relationship it could be um it could be work whatever it's going to be different for all of you but i kind of feel like um you've made a decision um you could have gone through a dark night of the soul and it's been tough and um, they are the, the, there's not two ways about that uh, and from what i gather i don't think we just have one there's a there's several but you get stronger every time um so we've got the ten of swords which is definitely an ending of some kind but again i heard metaphorical what we're aware of is death so there's definitely endings you know both cards literally oh, pardon me guys sorry um both cards literally say endings on them so something is ending without question. What we're not aware of is the King of Swords. I think you're seeing somebody in a different light. I think you're seeing somebody's shadow. Uh, the King of Swords um, in its positive is somebody very, very intellectual, very, very um, um, honest with their approach. Um, just, yeah, very bright, very intelligent. And don't get caught up in gender as well, have masculine and feminine within us. The negative aspects of the King of Swords can be somebody who's very, very narcissistic. Uh, this could be a covert narcissist that you've been dealing with. Or you might be seeing a mirror of that in yourself. Uh, I, I will say it because I've done it myself. I've seen I've seen a, a shadow side of me on occasions where I think, ooh, 
you know, uh, but that's the whole idea. The whole idea is to embrace it, to see it clearly, so you know that it's it's a trait that you need to be letting go of. In the recent past, it is the Two of Swords. Again, I kind of feel like this is talking about that you've made your mind up here. You've seen some sort of um, balancing something or some mismatch of something, some sort of, some sort of tension between, um, but you've not spoken up about it. Uh, you've kept quiet. You're making a decision behind closed doors, I would say. Your advice is the Knight of Pentacles. This is wisdom. This is planning. So for me, this is planning a exit route of some kind. Um, because I kind of feel like you've gone through some sort of transformation and whatever um, has kept you stuck and in limbo, you no longer want to do it. This could even be some sort of family uh, prospect here with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be just looking at what Ten of Pentacles means to you nowadays. My Ten of Pentacles could have meant the big mansion. Now it just, it, now it means to you um, comfort and love. Um, but the outcome is the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new beginning. This is a, a, a new, like an initiative, a new, um, uh, where there's endings, there's always new beginnings. Okay. Just oh, six of cups, jump in there at the bottom. Could have your son in Scorpio. Um, Bless you. There's... I almost feel like there's a little element of sadness. And I don't know why. I just want to see where the Five of Cups is. Okay, the Five of Cups is wedged between the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Uh, and this is marriage and commitment. Um, and then the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. For some of you, you could have been married to your job, essentially. There could have been a lot of focus on your job. Um, I feel like somebody's getting disheartened about something here, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, um, and because I'm 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 actually seeing um a quote by John Lennon, uh, who says um when you do something beautiful, uh, and nobody notices, you know, do not be sad, um, because you know the sun every morning is a beautiful spectacle, but half the audience is still asleep. So I kind of feel like you're obviously doing something, you're working on yourself, you've gone through some sort of transformation and you might be bettering yourself as a person, which might be causing some sort of tension between people, and which is why you're seeing the shadows in people. You're seeing the shadows in others. You might be literally seeing shadows. That's all part of the ascension process, so don't panic. Um, if you think you're seeing things, you, you are. Um, but it is part of the... Um, well, you're actually seeing actual things, but um, it's all part of the... Uh, the ascension process um keep doing your beautiful things because everything is energy and if you're putting out that beautiful energy you will attract a returned energy suitable whether that's a job a relationship um whatever it's going to come in it's going to be a match so for this i would say is you've already mentally left a situation and now it's about putting the um plan of action together to uh, initiate these um these ideas these plans these creative ventures if it makes your heart sing do it okay because i kind of feel like the time of um time of just following family traditions is, is coming to an end it's time for you to uh, be your own person be your own supporter who who, who knows um but yeah, good things are coming, all right? Um, so just plan of action. Make your dreams a reality. All right, so in your extended, we're just going to dive further into this. We'll just look at uh, past, present, future, the positives coming in, negatives to watch out for as well as your next steps. Um, if you can join me, fantastic. If this is where I leave you, you know, yes, there's tension. Oh, let me just check for the high priestess. Two of Swords is always the High Priestess kind of saying, you know, be patient and everything is as it seems. Ooh, some of you, there's going to be some fame. We have Star and the Wheel of Fortune together. It doesn't have to be mega star famous, just, um, you know, acknowledgements for your hard work. It's 
see what that high priestess has to say. Okay, we have the Oracle, which is the High Priestess, is wedged between the Queen of Swords, which is kind of you guys, Libra, and again, don't get caught up in genders, with the King of Cups. Okay, you're going to have to say no to somebody here. And again, this can be um, anything. This could be a family situation, um, a relationship situation, a job situation. You're going to have... Saying no is going to hurt somebody. So whether this is a boss, whether this is a friend, saying no is going to hurt somebody. But the most important thing is that you do not say yes when you really mean no. That's the standout from this reading. Because you've already made your mind up in your head where something's heading. Um, so let the job die. Let, um, let your passions come forth. Whatever this is, just follow you. Follow your true north. Don't follow anybody else's true north. Follow yours. Okay. Super. Who we added? Uh, Moon in Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Lots of pentacles, lots of earth energy. Aries, Scorpio. Gemini. Aquarius, Sagittarius. But we've got them all. We've got. Pentacles, we've got wands, we've got swords. Uh, do we get any cups? There's no cups, so there's no emotions attached to whatever this is. This is um, this is all about your uh, planning for your future. So do what do what must be done. Okay. All right. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. See you soon. Bye.